So far, we are displaying just one piece of information, and that's application. So we want to be able to display one after another the five-day weather forecast for a specific city. So here we're going to have a function that we're going to call, and that's going to be changed with the data. And we're going to go to that extension, so where we're going to be handling all the animation. And we're going to look at this one, which is change weather data. So that's the first function we're going to be looking at. It takes two parameters. So first, the most important one, that is day. And that's going to be an integer. And that's going to correspond to the index position of an array, which is going to be sales forecast. So when we're done doing the API call, and when we have the five day forecast, so the five city objects, we're going to be able to display so each of the information one after another. And we start with the first one, which is at index position zero. We want to go to the next one, which is going to be the position one. And this is what we do here. So with this parameter, we're going to pass this integer to this array in order to display so the next weather forecast for the next day. So we're going to look at weather info and CD data. So it works very similarly to what we had in view controller. So we were assigning so to each outlet the result of the sales forecast array. So first index position zero. And we're going to go then to the next one. So when we go to the animation, when it's going to be time to switch to the next one. So if we go back to view controller, you're going to see that this is very similar to what uh, we've been doing. So also followed with the data. So we use whichever data that we've been able to store to sales forecast to every outlet. So first city name, then forecast, and also the temperature, and also for the city data, so that we have for cloudiness, wind, and rain volume. So we're going to call this function right here, self change with the data, and we're going to pass. So that's going to be this constant that we have right here. We're going to pass this parameter and we're going to start with zero. So we're going to build and run, although you're not going to be noticing any difference because we're going to display so the same data. So that's going to be for the first uh, weather information that we have in that array. And what we want to be able to do ultimately is to be able to rotate through the different, the five day weather forecast that we have in that array. So for that, we're going to need to not only call this method right here, we're going to need to call it also inside the same method. So in the extension with the function change with the data, we're going to call this one right here. So we have some boilerplate code, which is available. This one is called, this function is called delay function. And I'm going to walk you through what it does. So we're going to go to view controller and we have this function at the top, which is delay. And it takes two parameters. So that is a double to indicate the number of seconds and completion. And that's going to be the code that we want to run after the five delays, the five second delay is finished. So we have this pop time constant, and that's going to be this function dispatched. So that's going to return the result of this dispatch time function. And the parameter that it takes is the moment now, which is dispatch time now. So if you keep your finger on option and click, you're going to see that this is the time that occurs immediately. So that's going to be the time of now. Then with the delay that we indicate, so that's going to be the time of now with five seconds. And then we're going to run this other function, which is dispatch after. So for the first parameter, we're going to use pop time and that's going to be starting so after the time that we have assigned to pop time, which is going to be five seconds starting from now. And we're going to run this function, so completion after that. And that's going to be this function that we want to run after a five second delay. So we're going to do the same actually with that function right here because we don't want the change to happen immediately, obviously. We want it to start after a five second delay to allow sometimes to read every information. And then we're going to have this function inside as a completion handler inside this closure. There we go. So what's going to happen is we're going to have so the first weather data information displayed. Then after a five second delay, we're going to have a switch to the next day, and that's going to be zero as well. We could change to one, but we're just going to keep it as zero. Then we're going to go to animations where we're going to have again, after a five second delay, another change of the weather data. And also something that you're noticing. So right here, we're using an if else condition. So we must use that because 
we need to increment so the index position of day because obviously we need to switch to rotate to loop through every objects that we have in that array and for that we're going to need to increment every time we do a change so we're going to do day plus one but also because we don't want to go beyond the bounds of the array because we have about four objects in that array we're going to need to verify if the day is not equivalent to the highest number of object number of that array so we're going to do forecast count minus one and if it's equivalent to the last index position of that array we're going to reset the integer day to zero otherwise it's going to be incremented to allow to go to the next object in the array so we're going to start with that enough explanation we're just going to run to see how it looks and here we're going to be able to start with the first day and we're going to switch to the next day in five seconds so that's going to be longer for the first one okay and then five seconds so that's going to be the next there you go so that's for the temperature label we want to be able to change also the information that we have so you see that we are also updating the information in that function of the cd data that we have in the table view so for each date chain that we have so we're going to go back to here first so you see that we're calling self animate table we're going to call this one as well inside the delay so that's going to happen so in sync with this function and we're going to go also to this one as well and allow also the table view to animate and to switch to the next data 